Okay, Dr. Mindy here, and I wanted to address today the length of fasting and how do you know how long you should go, what kind of benefit you're getting, um, and what the what the le the proper length is for you. So I tell my patients this all the time that when you go to fast, you really have to ask yourself, what are you trying to accomplish? What is what is it that you want to do with fasting? So every fast has a little different purpose. And over the next couple of weeks, I'll be going through the different fasts and the way that I like to fast and the way I recommend different fasts for patients. But today I really wanna talk specifically about timing and what we're seeing on research. Because the really cool part about fasting is that there's so much science that is, fasting is backed by so much science. And there are, all the different studies are pointing at different things. Like some studies point at the fasting will create autophagy. And some uh, studies point at fasting will improve growth hormone. And some studies are showing that fasting is producing stem cells. So how do you know which one you should be doing? So let me kind of show you something that I put in my resetter group today. And I found it this morning, I thought it was a really good chart. When you go to eat, let's say you eat a very high carb meal, your body at that moment is gonna decide if it needs to store fat or if it's going to burn fat. So when you first start to eat, if you eat a really high carb meal, most likely your body's gonna use part of that meal for energy and it's gonna sock away part of that food for another day, which is what we call uh, fat tissue. But the longer you go away from that meal, so you're now two, four, six, eight, ten hours away from that meal, your blood sugar's starting to come down. If you eat again, you reset this whole process and you, your body will start to store fat again. And it's frustrating, I get it, I hear a lot of you guys that are like, I'm not eating that much, but my body just keeps storing more and more fat, I'm eating less and less, and I'm still getting more, gaining more weight. And what you have to do if you want to start to access things like autophagy, if you want to start getting to the stored fat, is you have to get past this 13 hour point. Once you get past 13 hours of fasting, now your body's going from fat storage to fat burning. So it's at this point that there's like a switch that happens. So I'm a visual learner, so I, I mapped this out for my patients so they could see this, that at about 13 hours, growth hormone spikes. Now growth hormone is the hormone that slows the aging process, it burns fat, it starts to kick in around 13 hours of no food, okay? Then at about 16 hours is when we start to hit the autophagy sweet spot. And autophagy is where the cells without, in the absence of food will start to eat the toxins. The, these, both of these have an anti-aging effect. So between 16 hours and about 24 hours, you're getting maximum growth horm hormone, maximum autophagy. This is the spot that most of you are gonna wanna stay at on a daily basis. So a lot of my patients will end up doing fasts where they're fast, they just eat dinner most of the time. Now it's important to do diet variation and we'll talk about that on another video. But from 13 hours to 16 hours, it's all growth hormone. From 16 hours to 24 hours, you've now kicked in autophagy. And if you stay in that fast longer, what starts to happen is your body starts to go, no food is coming. I better go find the food that I stored a long time ago and it will start to find those stores uh, of fat that you've accumulated over the years. This is why so many of you are losing weight. So Carol, if you're watching this, my dear friend from chiropractic school just messaged me last night that she's lost 43 pounds since August uh, by just applying fasting principles like this, which is awesome. Uh, Cindy, I know you've lost close to 60 pounds uh, from last year applying these principles. So the amount of weight that people are dropping by not doing the continual eat every 10, 12 hours or every two hours by going these longer periods, 24 to 36 hours without food, what it forces your body to do is go and find that stored fat. So if you just want to get some growth hormone, you just want to, to build some muscle, you wanna slow the aging process, you wanna start burning fat, 
do it just fast this amount. Just go in the 13 hour range. If you wanna tap into autophagy and start to do some self detoxification, then you, you're gonna to wanna to go to 16 hours. You could even go up to 24. But if you're serious about losing weight and you really wanna to get to access those uh, stores of fat, you're gonna to have to go more than 24 hours. You're gonna to have to start to go 36. Uh, and in this range, there is some belief that stem cells kick in. We know based off of science that it's the fast mimicking that kicks in the stem cells and three days, three to five days of water fast. It's about the third day of a water fast that the stem cells kick in. So that gives you the, a range of what are you trying to do? If you're trying to lose weight, you want to slowly work towards these longer fasts. If you're trying to just, if you're happy with your weight and you're just trying to slow down the aging process, you can stay right in here. You can stay in the, in the 13 to 20, 24 hour range. Now this isn't every day, but it's most days, okay? So let me know if that makes sense. It's a powerful concept that I really want people to understand. I get this question so much from my patients and a lot of my resetters. So let me know if that makes sense. If you have any questions on it, please post them in the comments and I'll make sure that I answer them personally. Uh, if you want in my resetter group and you wanna participate in the fast, we're doing an autophagy fast right now, which is hitting this sweet spot right in here. Uh, if you want in there, just put resetters and I'll invite you into my resetter group. Um, but fasting is truly miraculous. Your body is amazing. And when you take food out of the equation, so many things heal. This is why so many people are running towards fasting. It's difficult at first. It's meant to be difficult at first. But as you start to do it more and more and more, you, will, you just will be blown away at how miraculous your body is and how great you can feel. So if you've lost weight with fasting, please put how much you've lost in there so that others can see what the potential is. So as always, I hope that helps.